Hi guys, it's James here from Inside United and today we're going to be doing a reflection video of the Barclays Premier League match between Manchester United and Sunderland played on the 28th of February 2015. Manchester United won 2-0 at Old Trafford, making it just two defeats in their last 21 games, putting us back into third position in front of Arsenal ahead of their game at, against Everton at the Emirates Stadium. We we used Whitford and we had Di Maria and Jan start. Rooney started as a striker and there was no matter. Um, However, obviously Victor Valdez, he wasn't in the team because he was injured. Luke Shaw had a slight hamstring pull, so he didn't feature in the game. And Phil Jones suffered from illness, so they weren't on, on the pitch. It was a shaky, nervous first half. Um, obviously, probably thinking we must win this game after our defeat at the Liberty Stadium last week. And it was a very shaky first half. We didn't have a, f a shot on target until the 38th minute. And it, it all came from Jan. He was our best player, our biggest threat in that first half, down that left wing. Sunderland couldn't deal with it and in the 38th minute great opportunity um, for Jan, um, John O'Shea's just got a touch on it which puts it onto the bar, very unlucky because I think he slid it through the legs, it was going into the net, John O'Shea just gets back to clear it off the line, hits the bar and very lucky that it wasn't an own goal, unlucky that it wasn't a goal but as I said 38 minutes it took for our first shot on target at Old Trafford, we did have shots off target, Ashley Young went very close to scoring his first goal in a year but he didn't um, score it and we went into the break at 0-0. So how did we change it off? change it up a bit um, as we know that Di Maria hadn't had a great first half get, getting knocked off the ball trying too much I think he is and I'm not sure if it's his confidence is it the premiership is, is, or is it is just you know is it too physical for him I don't know but we need to work on it because at the start of the season he was absolutely fantastic he he hasn't been great recently and I don't think it was the right decision we brought on Yanazai who's obviously the well, he was our, probably one of our best players last year with De Gea and Rooney. He was fantastic last year and he was given a really like sort of big talking to um, by Ryan Giggs and Louis Van Howe on that touchline just before he came off. And, and I don't know what was going on, but it started to heat. I'm not, I'm not sure what was happening, but there was a very firm firm dis discussion with Yanazai. And I'm not sure what it was, but I think it was to go go show and prove yourself sort of thing. Go show what you can do. Because he hasn't been doing this year. And was it just one year he was good or something? Well, anyway, he replaced um, Di Maria at half-time. And he gave us that dimension what we needed. Getting to the byline, taking on people. And it was some, it, he had a good half. Then we got our breakthrough in the 66th minute when John O'Shea pulled down Falcao inside the box. Great touch and move from Falcao, which must be said... And I'm going to give him some positive um, feedback there. Great play from Falcao. John O'Shea has a tug on his shirt. And it gives... And it was a goal-scoring opportunity. So it's a penalty. And it's got to be a red card. However, there was a controversial decision as the referee then got it mixed up. Thought it was Wes Brown who made that tackle. And Wes Brown was the player sent off. Even though John O'Shea was the player who fouled Falcao, it was Wes Brown who got sent off for it so the referee sent off the wrong player either way we got a penalty they were down to 10 men it didn't phase us at all and Wayne Rooney really firmly stepped up dispatched it right into that bottom left hand corner fantastic penalty it was as well and we just got that goal um and yeah it was it was good but it's, it, you know it wasn't a great result and it looked like we may have got another couple of points but after that we did very play very well as I said earlier in the, um, a minute ago, Ad Dan Yanazo was getting down that win. He was crossing it in. He was taking on players. Something we saw him do last year and wasn't a f wasn't fearful, wasn't fear didn't fear to have a go. He was very good in that right wing position, and he played very well. And he caused some problems for Sunderland. And our second goal came from him. Some lovely passing, great sort of link-up move just outside the box from Herrera, Valencia and that. Tucked out to the wing. Yanazai got the ball, had a shot, um, a sort of a curling shot, and which Pantaliman saved, but it went straight into Rooney's path. He reacted first to make it 2-0 and seal the result. He didn't really have to do, just had to keep his head low um, and control it into the net. It wasn't a hard finish, but it was actually a good play, from good pass and link-up move from United. Yanazai has the shot, parried away from Pantaliman, and Rooney, all he had to do is control it. 2 0 85th minute just to seal it and wrap up the three points for Man United just in case 
um, <laughs> the ten men were going to come back up. Us. And you have to say he's in the right place at the right time. And I, I think that's got to show that Rooney is our reliable striker. And that was, I think, he's the only player to have scored 10 goals in every season for like the last some years. So he's really got a landmark from that. So congratulations to Rooney for that. Um, and as I said, you know, Yenazai was one of the greatest players last year. And he was given a real talking to, and he played absolutely fantastic. So, some of the talking points from the game. Um, and it's got to be said, Yanazai coming on for Di Maria. That was a huge talking point in the game. Cause Di Maria was having a poor game and wasn't having a great game at all. Yanazai came on, showed some pace, showed some width. And, you know, he just... He just... It was a bright spark, and... He, he was fantastic and he really helped us in the game. Really unlucky not to score, but he also got an assist as well. Another talking point, should Rooney now start up front? Is he our reliable 20-goal striker what Van Hal was asking for in the press conference on Friday? Yes, I think he could be. Rooney is a striker. Next month or whenever he plays for England, he plays as a striker. How many years has he played under uh, Sir Alex? He's always played as a striker or a centre forward. I don't mind him in a centre forward position if we've got Falcon, um Van Persie on the pitch. But as Van Persie's out, and Rooney, he, he just shows it. He is a striker for me. And that is what he's got to do best at. He does, he's not good at picking up the ball from the defenders on the halfway line. He's no threat there. He can he can pick out passes. But his best position is where, as I just said, he should start up front. <coughs> but also another talking point was it wasn't a very good first half performance. It was better in the second half. And we did deserve to win because we put them under pressure. But it was another poor performance, but we got the, the points. And that has been something we've been accustomed to in these recent games. And also, when they went down to 10 men, Wes Brown had a very good game marking Falcao today. When they went down to 10 men and Wes Brown went off, this is Falcao's opportunity. When you're down to 10 men, you look to score goals, especially when it's a defender. And he ran off Falcao and he ran on Fellaini. I'm not sure what you're doing. Uh, and I was, you know... This is Falcao's opportunity to get some goals. And the reason why he's not getting them isn't because he's making those creative moves. He did very well to get that, the penalty. But, you know, I don't know why you're subbing him off there. Because he didn't have a poor game, but he didn't have a great game either. I'll also talk about it in my sort of uh, um, thing. I'll also talk about it later and all sorts of stuff like that. Let's have a little look at the league. Now into third, back in... But we'll be back into fourth if Arsenal win, as they will then take a point in front of us again. They take on Everton at the Emirates. Southampton lost 1-0 to West Brom. Um, so that means now that they drop to fifth. And even switch, and means that we now go four points in head of Southampton. So we top them, they've got the, um, the Capital One Cup final, so we'll stay six points ahead of them. But they'll obviously have their game in hand. And Liverpool, they are currently on five five points behind us they've got a tough game against City who we are only five points behind now but obviously I would like to see Liverpool lose that so then we would be six points in front of Tottenham five points in front of Liverpool and six sorry four points in front of Southampton and just the point behind Arsenal it would really tighten our grip in the top four I don't think that we would be in that tight race I don't think we'll get top two I think City and Chelsea have already got their top two places so we're battling it out with third and fourth and two teams who are we're battling it out with is Liverpool and Tottenham and Liverpool were playing City so I want Liverpool to lose that and as I said Janazai played well Van Hal has praised him said it was a very good performance from him Rooney played very well, as I said, got his two goals as well, um, so he did well. Jan behind him as well, he had a good game, was one of the best players in that first half. Um, however, uh, you know, as I said, Di Maria wasn't very good at all. Falcao was all right, and Jan, as I would say, was our man of match today. And just showing you this, Wayne Rooney is a striker, and this confirms it for me. 468 games, 227 goals, 123 assists. Play him as a centre forward just behind the strikers, or play him up front, because that is what he is, not a centre mid. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Play your ratings, and play your ratings for this game. It's coming soon. Our next game is Newcastle away on Wednesday, and I'll be doing a preview, a reflection, and some player ratings for that as well. I've also got a... Uh, 
sort of video on Falcao. I'm going to show you some of my Man United collection. And yeah, so make sure you subscribe for more.